Hey, what's up everybody? Josh here from Game Hunters R Us. Uh, I just want to apologize for not actually putting out a video in the past two to three weeks, something like that. Um, again, work's been really busy and I just have not had the time to actually go out and go game hunting. And uh, Also, my motorcycle has been out for about a month now, so I haven't even had a vehicle to go out anyways. So uh, I managed to go out yesterday and the day before and I did a Kijiji deal about two weeks ago uh, so I'm just going to show you uh, what I did uh, what I did find anyway uh, and hopefully it's a bit interesting and hopefully we'll fill in so I can find something uh, a bit better uh, so I'll start with uh, some original Xbox games uh, these I found yesterday and this one was uh, two dollars it's Return to Castle Wolfenstein see there it says two dollars uh, it is complete and uh, it's in pretty good shape. I love the other Wolfenstein games, so I haven't actually played this one, so it'll be fun to play that one. Uh, this game I've been looking for for a while, uh, and it was actually cool that I found it. Uh, it was also $2, and it is Doom 3, the original Xbox. Again, $2. And also, complete. It has a Buy and Sell Depot sticker on there, but uh, that should come off pretty easily. I would imagine so. Uh, next up, I got uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes. Um, I wouldn't have got this game normally, um, but it was only, I think, 2 or $3, and I figured an Xbox game, Star Wars related, uh, for, that, for that price is pretty good. That and the fact that it's made by LucasArts, which is now no longer in business, so I figure, hey, it could end up being a hidden gem in the future. Uh, next up is a really cool game uh, called Pure. Uh, really random that I found this at a Goodwill, and it was only three or four dollars. I can't really remember, um, but uh, it is complete as well, and uh, disc is in good shape. And I played the demo for this, and I really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool to find. Uh, this one is a PlayStation 3 game that I got. It is Vin Diesel and uh, Wheelman. It was five dollars. Um, five dollars about my cap on new games, um, especially at Goodwills and Value Villages, although Value Village sometimes sells them for like six, which sometimes I'll go for. Um, another Value Village I go to says all current generation system games uh, for ten dollars, regardless of what it is. So I think NHL 2K9 has been sitting at this Value Village that I go to for about as long as I've been game hunting, and it's been for ten dollars, and they just haven't, they just left it there. So I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, but that's cool. It looks, it looks kind of like uh, if you ever played Pursuit Force uh, on the PSP, it's kind of like that. You're jumping around, but maybe not. Maybe the more people play the, have played this game. Uh, next up, I have a game that I was really excited to see. Uh, the new one. Uh, the new game of this series came out on the PS3 and Xbox uh, either late last year or early this year um, and so it was really cool to actually find uh, the original for this and it was really really cheap I only paid five dollars for this game and it's going for much more than that on eBay and it is XCOM UFO Defense long box complete the only thing is the little manual has a little crease in it there but I am perfectly happy with that. Um, other than that, it's in great shape. Uh, it does not have a little styrofoam piece, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I saw the ad up for five dollars, and I immediately sent them an email and said, "Hey, I'll take it. When can I pick it up?" And I picked it up the next day, and uh, she was just like, "Oh, I might." The lady said, "Oh, I might not even be home. I'll just uh, I'll leave the game in the mailbox, and you can throw five dollars in it." and that'll be fine. And I was like, okay, you're just trusting with this, but <laughs> oh well, I was pretty happy. And that game's going for like, I think the lowest I've seen was 60 and the highest I've seen was like 90 or something like that. So, uh, I don't know. It'll only go up in price probably. Uh, the best deal so far uh, that I did, and this was last Saturday, um, me and my friend Andrew, who you saw in the Let's Play of Flashback, uh, he and I are both avid motorcyclists, as I've said before, and 
my bike was broken and so he basically picked me up and we went to do a Kijiji deal for him and he picked up a PSP with no charger and 11 games uh, for I think it was forty dollars which is pretty pretty good considering some of the games in there were 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 very decent games um, but then he had no charger for it so we looked around and found another uh, PSP that was a PSP 2000 by the way uh, we looked and saw another PSP 1000 complete with a charger with it so and he only wanted I think thirty or thirty five dollars for it uh, so we jumped on his motorcycle again and we went out to the other end of town and it was like and we did 400 kilometers on this bike in one day with me on the back seat and it was very uncomfortable but quite a good story nonetheless uh, so we picked that up and then checked it out he had two PSPs now and one with a charger <laughs> and one of the games and then I went on I've been also been looking for a PSP I've had two already uh, my first was stolen and the second one uh, got caught in the rain with me when I was on my motorbike and just fried so I've been looking for one for about three years now uh, and so this one popped up on Kijiji and it was super cheap it was a 1001 model um, with a strap super clean came with a game and a charger and whatever uh, so here it is it's the PSP 1000 it's charging right now um, but yeah it was twenty five dollars I paid for that and I thought that was more than fair um, it came with a uh, pimp my ride UMD which I promptly took out <clears throat> and threw across the room and it's actually sitting over there somewhere I don't even know I don't really care about the game at all um, we mostly picked it up just so we could actually do emulation. He and I both love retro games. He's more into RPGs and stuff like that. So he really wanted one that he could play Final Fantasy on from uh, Super Nintendo and things like that. Um, so we promptly brought them home to my house and cracked them and everything like that. So uh, this is currently cracked. So it, if I press there, I have a bunch of different games on. This is probably going to be super loud. One second. So I have, uh, let's, uh, what did I do to deserve this, my lord? And then uh, Kill Zone, uh, Wipeout Pulse, Ghosts and Goblins, or Ghouls and Goblins, Ghosts and Goblins. And these are all running off of my memory card, by the way. These are not UMDs, you're, or I should say, they're not even legit downloads. They're just, uh, you just torrent them, and once your firmware is cracked, then it's, it'll run on here. Uh, Army of Two. And then I have uh, N64 emulator, Oops. Uh, Super Stardust, which is a great PSP game, also a PS3 game if you have it. Uh, Little Big Planet, again, awesome game. Um, NES emulator, a Super Nintendo emulator. You can hear the music. Uh, these are the update files. I have Marvel vs. Capcom, N Plus, which is a great game. Um, the Sega Genesis, and then this is the Super, no, the Game Boy Advance, and then this is the Master Boy, which does Game Boy Color, uh, Game Gear, and Sega Master System games. Um, and I only have an 8 gigabyte stick, and all of this fits on there. And for the, for the amount of money that I paid for it, it's a perfect thing just to grab and take with games with you on the go. Um, obviously, it's not replacing these systems that I have but I can't really take an NES in the car with me or I can't take a Super Nintendo in the car with me um, so it's a great way to take those games on the go or to the cottage or camping and things like that so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's actually kinda of running a bit longer than I expected it to um, but I hope you enjoyed uh, please like comment subscribe down below um, I will in the future hopefully soon maybe be doing a uh, for sale and trade video I know JHMDF does uh, sale and trade videos and he has uh, quite a bit of success with that. So I'm going to give it a shot with some of the games that I've bought to try, uh, try to sell but haven't quite worked out. So hopefully that will be soon. And uh, thanks guys and I'll see you guys next time.